down. The business world is hard. You need someone to help you out. I live at your house. I live there. Your office is literally 13 steps away from my room. Okay. Before Dixie D'Amelio would blow up with over 27.8 million followers on TikTok, 12.2 million followers on Instagram, 1.5 million subscribers on YouTube, rivaling the popularity of her sister Charlie. Before Dixie D'Amelio would star in the YouTube web series, Attaway General. He doesn't have the same accolades as a father. <laughs> okay. Before Dixie would release her first hit single, Be Happy, which would accumulate more than 1.4 million streams on Spotify in the span of just a week. Dixie's in the spotlight right now thanks to her new track, which talks about her learning to deal with constantly feeling like she's got to maintain a certain image. It features lyrics such as, Sometimes I don't want to be happy. Don't hold it against me. If I'm down, just leave me there. Let me be. With this new song, she's doing her part to let people know that sometimes, well, it's all right to not always feel okay. And in a press release for the track, Will Dixie stated, I wanted to share the honesty of this message with others, especially those around my own age. My hope is that anyone who listens can be reminded that it's okay to feel what we feel. It's okay, have a bad day. We all have them and you are not alone. Now Dixie's own path to fame has been somewhat overshadowed by her professionally trained dancer of a sister. Of course, I'm talking about Charlie, the most followed star on TikTok. For Dixie, her road has been a little different, pulling from her experiences in theater to make her videos stand out and differentiate her journey from that of her sisters. She stated, Charlie and I are two different people and we've always tried to never be in competition. I don't want to do what she's doing. I don't want to be a dancer because that's her thing and I have my thing. But what exactly is Dixie's thing? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to tell you about today as I run down her past and her passion here for you in today's video. What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCrudden back at it again with a brand new video. This one on Dixie DiBellio, here for you of course and before they're famous. Now we've covered a few other TikTok stars here on this channel including Addison Rae and her sister Charlie. And uh, well when you're finished here you can check those out. Also there's like no shortage of people blowing up on TikTok. But you guys gotta tell me who to do next in the comments down below. Alright, now let's get into this video. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! I look back on my childhood and I have no regrets of anything. Dixie D'Amelio was born on August 12, 2001 in Norfolk, Connecticut to parents Mark D'Amelio and Heidi D'Amelio. If you're watching this video and you're a fan of hers, you probably already know them. Yes. It was recently as two years ago while Dixie was your average teenage girl attending King's School in Stamford, Connecticut. Well, Charlie grew up a competitive dancer while Dixie, she spent more time singing and participating in musical theater. Now throughout her time spent at school, she appeared in more than 20 shows. These included The Little Mermaid, Cinderella, and Aladdin. She also took voice lessons throughout her youth as well. So the girl really got some pipes on her. Good for her. I sang a lot growing up. I did theater for a long time and then I switched to sports more. And now I'm kind of figuring my way back into singing because I've always enjoyed it. I just wasn't confident enough and I didn't feel like I enjoyed it enough at the time because I was just so much more into sports. Now that I have a lot more time and a lot more opportunity and a and many more opportunities to try things like singing, I definitely want to get into it. Now she eventually paused her theatrical pursuits to take up running track and playing field hockey, and she was a member of the King Vikings varsity field hockey team. Now she went to practice, did her homework, worked at a local clothing store, and even spent time on a BMX track. I, this is like the fun fact I tell everyone, but I raced BMX when I was younger, and I was fifth in the nation, and I thought that was kind of cool. I was like, Crazy. I didn't even realize what I was doing and I just, yeah. Now Dixie first created a social media profile for herself back in 2015 via Instagram and for a long time, well, she was about as obscure as me on other social media accounts. Psst, that's a hit for you to go and follow me. Okay. But things would change for her overnight after her sister Charlie blew up on TikTok. Now Charlie, she would often feature her sister in her videos, which led to Dixie's popularity taking on a life of its own. I am Charlie D'Amelio. I do TikTok dances. I'm Dixie D'Amelio. I also do TikTok. I would describe Dixie as quite a goofball. She's a good person to have fun with. She can get bossy. 
because she's my older sister. By the last game of her field hockey season, will Dixie notice that students from other teams, well, they would often take videos of her while she was out on the field. Within just a few months, she would go on to become one of the most famous teenagers on the internet. Now, Dixie's fame is primarily thanks to her TikTok videos that include comedic sketches and lip singing videos. Now, she's no stranger to participating in popular and trending TikTok dances, but she primarily sticks to her self-deprecating brand by playing up her lack of dancing ability and focusing on laughs. Speaking of the type of content she likes to make, well, she told Insider, being able to do comedy or skits or just talking on TikTok is kind of my lane and where I stay. Now, her experience as a performer and led itself naturally to another skill, that of modeling. Now she got her first gig, which she booked back in January of 2018, and she's worked with brands like Ralph Lauren in the past as well. Damn, I've been doing this for like five years. I ain't got no one booking me for no modeling, ever. Ah, McDonald's once sent me a onesie. Uh Now recently, Dixie, she has returned to some of her roots after once more getting bit by the acting bug. Now she earned herself a role on Brat TV, a media company that makes web series for YouTube. And her show, Attaway General, premiered in May. And Dixie, well, she's embracing the opportunities that are coming her way. She told Insider, I've done theater all my life, so being involved in acting and singing is so exciting because I'm finally getting the opportunity where I could show things that I'm interested in, but to an audience who wants to see it, which is just so humbling. With TikTok turning into a gatekeeper in terms of determining what's popular music these days, well, many of the influencers on the platform are releasing their own music, and Dixie, she's no different. Now, at the end of last month, she released her new track, Be Happy, to massive numbers and a huge fan reaction. But just as Dixie's career was taking off, well, coronavirus, it came in and effectively shut down everything. And thankfully, Dixie, well, she can create most of her content from home. But with that said, she's going to have to put the acting and the singing career on hold just for a wee little bit. But for now, she's finishing up her last year of high school and beyond her graduation, well, she doesn't have concrete plans for the future. But with that said, she was recently announced as the ambassador for a skincare company, Dermalogica, and their Clear Start product line. So she's making bank. Good for her. Now, despite being one of the most recognizable teenagers in the world right now, well, Dixie says that her fame, it still hasn't hit her all the way. Sometimes when I go out in public and I see people looking at me, I forget. I'm like, why are they staring at me? I'm so confused, and then they come up and talk to me and have a conversation. I'm like, oh, I didn't even know. I thought there was something on my face. Of course there's nothing on your face because you work with Dermalogical or whatever the hell that company's called. Sounds like a plug, doesn't it? Man, this girl's smart. She's working quick. Anyways, I, I, what I do imagine is this girl is gonna have a very bright future ahead of her. Her sister's taking over the dancing. She can take over the acting, and they're a force to be reckoned with. They're like the biggest stars in the world right now, so good for them. Also, be sure to let me know who else is blowing up on TikTok that you want to know a little bit more about that I can feature here on this channel. Sound off in the comments down below. All right, I think that's everything, guys. So I'll see you in another video. If you're new, be sure to subscribe. Let me know who's next, and I think that's it. All right, cool. Bye.